But you must never forget this nation does not belong to them. This nation belongs to you. This is your home. This is your heritage. And our American liberty is your God-given right. From Asheville to Raleigh, from Wilmington to Winston-Salem, from Greenville to Greensboro, this state was forged by some of the toughest men and some of the strongest women ever to walk the face of the earth. Our American ancestors were backcountry farmers and frontier settlers, woodsmen, craftsmen, workers and warriors who poured their love into this land for their families. They climbed the mountains, fought the battles, conquered the dangers, such danger, tamed the unknown wilderness, built the factories, and gave everything they had to make America into the greatest nation in the history of the world. Donald Trump's vision for America emphasizes the idea of a nation owned by its people differing from the Biden administration's stance. This approach seeks to protect America's unique identity and values, resonating with the public's sense of ownership and heritage. Trump describes American freedom as an inherent right bestowed by a higher power, echoing democratic principles prioritizing individual liberty and the nation's historical foundation. The discourse covers themes of identity, belonging, and ties to individual heritage, encouraging citizens to remember that the nation belongs to each of them, reinforces individual agency and significance within the broader national context, acknowledging the country's historical importance and the contributions of diligent individuals in shaping it. References to the resilience of men and the strength of women validate traditional gender roles, aligning with democratic perspectives on familial and societal structures. The focus is on the importance of the land, the challenges faced by ancestors, and the concept of nurturing the land with love for future generations. This narrative underscores the individual's role in exploring subjective aspects of heritage and identity, fostering a connection between personal narrative and the nation's larger tapestry.